To graph a circle using GraphPad, we need to have both the center of the circle and a point that's somewhere on the circle. We can use the radius to find such a point. In this case, we know that the center is at the point 4, negative 3, and that the radius is 3. We'll start by choosing the circle tool and plotting the center. The center is at 4, negative 3, so we click to plot the center, and then we can use the radius to plot another point. Notice that as I move the cursor in and out, the circle becomes bigger and smaller. So by moving three units away from the center, in any direction, up, down, left, or right, we can plot another point that's on the circle. When I click outside the circle to finalize my graph, you'll notice that the center disappears. That's because the center is simply a point we use to nail down the location of the circle, but this point in the center of the circle is not actually a solution to this equation. It's only the points that are along the circle that are solutions to the equation. Remember that you can go back in and edit any of the details of your circle by clicking on the circle and moving to the Find Detail editor that's at the bottom. In this example, we'll look at graphing a circle with the graph pad where the center and radius are both fractions. Because of the way the graph pad plots the circle, we need to know ahead of time both the center and a point that's on the circle. So I can look at this equation and tell that the center is at 5 halves, negative 1 fourth. The radius of this circle is 7 halves, so what I need to do first is find another point that's going to be on the circle. I can do this by taking the center point and adding or subtracting 7 halves from either the x-coordinate or the y-coordinate. In this way I could arrive at four points that are actually on the circle, either up, down, left, or right of the center. So I'm going to start by plotting the center at 5 halves, which is 2 and a half, comma, negative 1 fourth. And in this case, you can see from the fine detail at the bottom that I can find this point exactly. Remember, you can change this point later if you can't get it exactly on the graph. I've calculated that there should be another point at negative 1, negative 1 fourth. So I'm going to move my cursor over to negative 1, negative 1 fourth and place that point down. You'll see that that's a radius of 7 halves or 3 and a half on this circle. Again, click outside the circle to prepare the graph to submit as a solution. If you need to edit the fine detail in the graph, click on it again and go down into the fine detail. Remember that you can input fractions down here, so I could put a different point on this circle. For example, I could use the point 5 halves, negative 15 fourths. And you'll see again that this is a circle of radius three and a half.